What is going on, everybody out there? Bobby Five, my guy Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through a little. We're going to do a little NBA show, talking a little bit, start to finish, how to how to best utilize True DFS and SaberSim, uh, our partnership and everything, and uh, how to use Sheets as Sheets, how to go through my plays, and and just how how to play NBA DFS, which is definitely the most difficult I find it of all the sports. It also can be the most rewarding historically. Is by far my best ROI. Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting, but there's, it's, it's not something sheets and, and correct me if I'm wrong and then take it away, but it's not something it's very easy to do as a casual player. Right. Right. But what we're trying to accomplish is for you guys is to create some kind of routine, you know, some kind of repeatable process that you can do that you can say, okay, I feel like playing NBA tonight. Exactly. What do I need to do? You know? Right. And, and so you can know sort of in advance, how, not you know how much time is going to be required and where you have to go because one thing about well all daily fantasy sports and all life really is, is that there's so much content and so much stuff out there that you'll you'll your head will spin trying to keep up with all of it so you know one of the founders of the site you know you're saying you know eric you're bobby why don't you create something that'll just lead someone just what to do if they want to play dfs using the true dfs stuff so we th- I keep thinking about the best way to present this. And I, I think that we have kind of a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen right now. And, and this is the true DFS kind of landing page. And if you want to play NBA, I mean, this is, I want to kind of take you on a tour through this. And as I do this, I'll have Bobby kind of interject with what everything is. So let, let's say you want to, you want to play DFS, you know, it, it's, it's the NBA. Usually the, the slate starts at seven o'clock at night. What I would do is, you know, depending how much time you have at work or if you're not working, whatever, how much research you want to do. If you're the type that's going to want to dive into all of the data and all the details and stuff, you know, that you're not going to get all of that on GPFS. You know, that you could go do that on your own or whatever it is. This is more for someone that wants to, you know, access our tools, access our acumen and just kind of a nice, easy way to do this. So the first thing is that usually at about one o'clock or two o'clock Eastern, Bobby and I, or Bobby or I, or one of us will always create a slate of preview video. Now it's, it's put out on YouTube, but then it always, it automatically launches right here on the website. Uh, on, it's usually front and center, depending on the sport, but you'll always see this kind of first look. And the thing about the NBA is that, you know, the, the real reality doesn't happen until like an hour before lock, which is about 6 p.m., um, there's so many injuries that happen, so many starters that are out and so much stuff that happens, but it's important to get an idea, I think of, of what to expect. So that's why we do these preview videos. It's not necessarily who you're going to be playing tonight or who our best plays are. It's basically who our best plays would be like if the slate lock now, which it, which it doesn't. Right. But, but it does give you an idea of what to expect. So if you do have time, I think that this is kind of a good idea to, to watch this first. And they're usually, depending on, on the day and whatever, they're, they're usually about 40 minutes or so, maybe 45 minutes. If, if, if either of us are doing it on our own, it's probably much shorter, you know, cause it's not a, as much back and forth or whatever. Um, but that's the first thing that I would do is, is to look at that and, and, and see, and, and look at, and look at our, and look, and look at, look at our, look at our initial takes on the slate. Yeah, um, and, and, and if you're short on time, listening to the last five minutes, if you're going to make the like live show, is probably a decent idea because we sort of, you know, go through our end thoughts of the slate. So 40 minutes of us, is, it's really trying to strig- struggle through, and it's very valuable. But I do think that if you want, if you if you're in a rush for any reason, just listen to the last five minutes, uh, and I think you'll get an idea of sort of our initial outlook. Okay, so now, so so now we're proceeding onward. So again, we're talking about the different types of people that are out there. So again, if you want to do all this deep dive. Feel free, get up at midnight and do it 24-7, just, just go after it, okay? If you wanted to do, like, a, a decent amount of work, like I said, like Bobby just said, you, you'll watch that video. If you want to do like a little less work, you'll watch, like, that last five minutes. Then if you want a little tiny cheat sheet, okay, that you don't want to spend an hour on, it's not exactly what you're going to do yet because it's not close enough to, to lock, but it's it's something at least tied you over. Bobby puts out what's called Bobby's Builds, where right after we do our video, he says, okay, if I were basically going to to build stuff now, this is what I would do. And this is usually available about, you know, what, what, usually about what, a half hour, an hour or so, I guess. 
Is that fair to say yeah, after yeah. the video goes out? Yeah. Okay. So, and it's usually right here, Bobby Fies builds. So let's let's click on that and see what this looks like. So this is basically, you know, a whole kind of like thing of what Bobby's early builds would be. And this is the NBA over here, right? Mm -hmm. And the, what these are, these are his percentages. Like if he, like if in fact he were assigning percentages now, if in fact the 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 uh, the slate lock now, this is where he would be. So again, it's not to say this is who he's going to be gonna play later, right? It's not even exactly who he'd play now, but it just gives you like an idea of who his top guys are and how he would build his lineup. So if you really wanted to, you know, to to get a cheat, a real cheat sheet, okay. Um, and this is kind of cool because not a lot of people do this. When you go, sometimes you get to other sites and you don't, they'll show, they'll show, okay, who are our top plays, but top plays don't really help if you can't play them all. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and top plays don't help if they negatively correlate. So this is actually like lineups that right. they're not actually entered, but they're lineups that are, that are reasonable lineups based on, on who Bobby likes. And this comes out, you know, in the early afternoon, you'll see kind of NFL and, and some of this is here yeah, as well. It's, it's worth noting that, well, and, and the thing I'm not trying to do is to get people to build my exact lineups, but it, you, it gets, and also in, in our Discord, for one thing, it, it gets a lot of conversation going about the guys who I, who I have on my list. And then as news inevitably comes in, it's always interesting to see which which stuff you get off and and you wish you hadn't and which stuff you, you get onto that, that you weren't early onto that, that ends up working out. But I do think that, you know, that's one thing that will, and I'll obviously attach the Discord link to here for those of you who aren't on it. But the early builds in other sports often, I mean, I've had three three times we've had people who copied basically the builds in, in one tournament. That, well, that's not what we're trying to do. But the, the early builds are a are, are, are real feeling of what I actually would be doing right now. So I just want to make that really clear. I'm not putting up things that I'm going to totally change unless news is going to drive me other way, another way. Okay. I usually have a longer list of core plays today because of uh, the, the lack of early obvious value in news. I only put five guys on my early core playlist. Uh, usually you'll have 10 or 12 guys that I have that are going to be core plays. And, and usually 80% of them are going to be fairly chalky. And then there's going to be the few that I have that are a little bit different that I'm going to prioritize. And tonight that would be LeBron and Ja, who I don't think are going to be particularly high owned. Yeah. So the point is, is that in addition to those bills, there's also that this is the more traditional kind of like core plays. And so you can look at this too, you know, like you're not building your lineups to, to, to last now anyway. So mm -hmm. it's a good idea to get an idea of just who, I don't want to say the best plays are, but who Bobby's kind of his, some of his favorites are, you know what I mean? Like, like right here. And mm -hmm. again, it's important to, we don't want to spend too much time on this. It's important to know the distinction between what a core play is and a build is right. Cause core plays not, they're usually in his build, but sometimes right. they're not all together. You know, it just kind of depends on the position and stuff like that and, and, and things like that. So, and this comes out about the same time as the builds come out, Bobby? Yep. yep, just a few minutes later. Okay, now here, we've slowly but surely gotten into these, um, uh, into the sports betting industry, industry sports betting uh, part of this. So kind of like ease into it. Bobby's been like basically putting out his bets of the day, which... Uh, um, he puts out right about the same time and he uh, he just puts them right up here like this. What maybe we'll like make this look prettier one day. Okay. Yeah. But for now, you know, the, uh, the value of the information is more important than how pretty it is. Okay. So, um, so he puts this out here probably right about the same time. Now, again, this is something remember that it's all subject to you know, line movement and stuff like that, you know, and, and if some guys are out, you know, these things can all change or whatever, but again, it's just something to kind of, Keep a lookout. But again, this is more centric on DFS, but yeah. I figured I'd just throw this out there. Now, is five and five going? Five and five will be updated for today because I haven't done anything yet. Okay. But five and five will be like just a five minute video that running down sort of my plays of the day and with a little bit more explanation. So, um, so, so, so basically, like, so, so if you're you're coming in here, you have like a little bit of time. Let's say you want to watch the forty five minute video. Excellent. Okay, but let's say you didn't want to do that. I think that if you could click even on Bobby's five and five when he does one, that's mm -hmm. like a that's like a five minute kind of mm -hmm. probably summary of all the stuff that I talked about so far. You know, like right. sort of his breakdown of the game, sort of his build, sort of his core plays. Just basically five and five plays in five minutes, basically. You know, and that's that's the idea. You know, sometimes he'll go more, sometimes he'll go less, whatever. But that's kind of the idea. The, the cliffs, the cliffs of the cliffs. You know, mm -hmm. um, and 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 that again, you know, you're not gonna build your lineups with this because it's early in the day. Right. But again, it just gives you an idea. And then if you're like, depending on how much you want, time you want to spend DFS, 
you probably just want to put that away, you know, like put all that thought away and then just kind of go back to work and stew and chill. If you want, listen, if the type's going to grind and do homework or whatever it is, do that. Um, and then the next big piece is going to come when it gets to be like six o'clock at night. Okay. Now, Bobby, alluded, and we'll get to that in a second. So Bobby just, just alluded to something, which he's going to send you the, the, the link to, and that would be our, our discord channel. Okay. So if you also want to do like a, get a little more work, but not, you know, go into full deep dive, what you'll go is you'll go into our discord channel and you go into, and everybody should be part of this. You go into NBA and you'll see some, you know, some chat, you know what I mean? Like some people just yapping about stuff and, and, and the people that are in here usually are not wasting people's time. You know, they're giving, they're giving plays out there. They're having some discussion. And if you have a little bit of time, you feel like 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 kibitzing about some of the plays, you could you could go here, and also you could put some questions out there, and you know from time to time, Bobby and I will look and check it out, and and if we have time, you know during the day, we'll 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 kibitz back, you know. So again, this is kind of like a blend of like if you don't want to spend all day doing it, but every once in a while you want to check back and see what's up, you know, you could uh you could do that. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can look at, you know, again this is like more work, but if you want. We have this thing called NBA Twitter feeds within the Discord. And what this does is it gives you kind of like injury news sort of throughout the day. If Again, if you wanted to, to go to that type of detail. So like right now, we already saw at like 1.15 p.m. It showed up that Trey Young was upgraded to probable and just things like that. And we continue to add good um, good Twitter feeds to kind of follow here. Okay? Mm -hmm. So so now you get up to, to 6 o'clock, right? And now it's time to start worrying about who you're actually going to play. Now, how to build lineups, you could do this in so many different ways, but it has to start with some kind of projection system, okay, especially with the NBA. Right. It's got to start with you seeing who the hell is supposed to do well. Now, we went over some of that. We, we incorporate our projections in our early videos, right? But now it's 6 o'clock, and we don't have time to do like another full-hour video on all the plays given the new projections. So what we do is we have these projections that we put up here on the site. Okay. Now there, there are a lot of sites that have projection models and, and, and always good, you know, always projections are better than no projections, but I just want to just show you first of all, where they are and what they are. So you go into NBA and you go to NBA projections and it will create this table like this. Now what this is, is, as I put these up here and no, it's not me like doing all this drill down work of like usage rates and all this stuff. What I do is I access all the projections, not all of them, but most of the good projection systems in the industry. And then what I did was I back tested them all for, for accuracy. And I put a little weighting on whoever's like the best and whoever's the worst. And I kind of aggregate all of this stuff, you know, into this bit, one big summary of projections. And then you know, I put a little bit of tweak, a little TLC on it, and I list them all. So, and you'll have it all here, this fantasy points right here. You'll have the point per dollar ranking. You'll have what I call sheets value score, which is my own kind of personal way of ranking these guys, right. ownership projections, all the stuff that you might want to see. So you have these projections at your disposal that if you want to go ahead and build a lineup, you can do that. Now, mm -hmm. there, there's so many ways that you can do it from here. The, 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 Kind of more primitive way is just to open up a DraftKings lineup, kind of, you know, sort maybe by point per dollar or something like that, and just fill them in until we, like you, you max out your salary. Right? Like that's that's kind of one what's kind of one way to build a lineup. But what most people do is at least to some degree, until they get really, really expert at doing this by hand, is they need kind of a computer to make kind of sense of this, you know, because if you think that you know XYZ is a good play, but you have to spend a lot for them you know, what, uh, how are you going to build your lineup? So we have two different ways that you can do that. First is this, the true DFS lineup builder, um, which is the real primitive NBA lineup builder. All, what this is doing, it's going to take a projection system and then it's just going to create the lineup that's going to score the most points. Okay. Given all those projections. Okay. Now there's a lot of ways that you can put your own projections in here, but what I recommend if you're going to use this, this one is just click this button load from sheets because what that'll do is automatically just upload my projections into this. Um, this way you don't have to put your own and stuff like that. And you'll see it populate. 
And then if you want to build a lineup, it says try to generate the top lineup. Just click this, this thing, LFG. And with any luck, it'll build one for you. And there you go. Okay. So if you want to create a lineup, this is the easiest chilled way to do it. And, 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 and such. Now, but again, or that actually, it's pretty interesting to note that like that actually is a good lineup with some low, with some low owned plays. It's just interesting that it immediately can figure that out, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, the thing, it's not really figuring it out. I mean, that's the thing. This is primitive. It's really just doing it by this the is primitive one. No, no, I understand. But right. it's still surprising. So, so, so I really wouldn't recommend if you're playing like big lottery type tournaments that, that you need to like beat a hundred thousand to win that you use the lineups here, but you could create lineups using this. And it's definitely better, better than nothing. Okay? Right. Um, and you could do 20 lineups. You could, we have a separate tutorial on how to use this, which you can access, yeah. but, but, but it's right here on the site. Yeah. But if you want to be, again, a little more advanced and you want to build lineups with, a, a, with, I would say better, but like a different optimizer is, is you'll access SaberSim. Now you do have to be uh, a premium subscriber with SaberSim access to access this but if you're looking at a recommendation i, I really think if, if you're at all serious about dfs and you play regularly that that really being a premium member the extra 30 bucks a month that it that it takes which is basically just us giving money to so it's not like we're making more off of it it's 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 really going to saberson but to have the access to both is really valuable and before sheets jumps into it it's just really interesting like w one of the biggest things i do to compare when i go through this is the saberson ownership versus sheets ownership um, and I, I look at Sheets' projection versus the Saberson projection, and you can see that it's, we have the true DFS projection system down there, and, and the SS ownership next to it, that's the Saberson ownership. And it's just interesting to see how you can get different numbers, um, and, and and they tend to be fairly close. But there's times where where you know Sheets is taking Sheets is really taking the whole industry's information and 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 compiling it. So it's it's a uh, it's I find it a little bit more accurate, and the fact that we can use this to build through this this awesome system through, from Saberson, um, while using our own project, you, you know the true DFS projections, you could enter your own projections, and you can use Saberson projections. So we have three different routes of of ways you can get information. If it's another sport, we also have Goldie's projections, which is a true industry without any weighted anything, just an industry average. Um, so that's other sports. Right. Yeah. So, no, no. So, so I'm not going to get into how to use SaberSim right now. There's like, we have like hours and hours of other stuff on yep. actually how to use SaberSim. But the fact of the matter is, is that you can use SaberSim right here from the main site. And as, as Bobby alluded to, what's kind of cool is that it automatically uploads the true DFS projections as a, uh, a candidate for which projections you want to use. Right. So if you want to use SaberSim, you could use the SaberSim projections. You could use the true DFS projections. You could use the average projections, right? And and whichever one you pick is going to show up in this my projection uh, uh, here. Right now it says Saberson, um, but if I change it to true DFS, then uh, it would become uh, see now my projection became what what true DFS was. So so the point is is that you could you could customize this in a lot of ways, and if you wanted to. You could update, you could upgrade, uh, upload your own projections into here mm -hmm. as well. But that's like, for, that's for another video. But the point is that all of this is, is available to you now. So now this is six o'clock, right? So at six o'clock in the evening, that's when usually the projection systems um, update, you know, within the system, within true DFS. So you can really start looking at these things and start building. But what happens is the real key is that at six o'clock, what you have to do is you have to subs well you have to subscribe and and like i guess the our youtube channel because what we do every day around six o'clock is we go live okay and you might actually get a notification here as well yeah with the well. general uh although it should i don't see it but uh it's nonetheless the back of the, li the live ones but i'll double check it Oh, there it is. So it says yeah. pin every true DFS is live. Okay. So what happens when we are live is, is Bobby or I, or both, or it's great if it's both. This is where it all happens. You know, this is where you say, okay, all your work is now coming down to this. There's been lineup changes. There's been, um, there's been injuries. There's been projection systems changes. There's ownership changes. Now we have to build our lineups. And so now it gets really, really hairy because look, not only does Bobby and I have to, you know, uh, help you guys, but we have to do our own lineups, right? So, so, so it, you know, we we do take questions, 
but it's, it's, uh, you know, everybody's got to be really, really focused on what's going on. So this is like literally the cliffs of the cliffs. You know, this is mm-hmm. when, you know, you show up at six o'clock, you, you can actually do this. Like if you didn't look at anything all day, you didn't look at the videos, didn't look at Bobby's five and five, didn't look at the core plays, never went to the discord. You could, as long as you were quick enough and, and, and could build your lineups using your optimizers or whatever, um, you could show up at six o'clock not having a single clue about what's going on in the slate and probably um, I want to say be profitable because that's that's probably yeah, no, 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 but I know but, what you're saying. Yeah. But 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 you you could be in business, okay? Yeah. Because because you number one have updated projections that you can build, and number two, you have sheets and bobbies updated takes, you know, at that six o'clock point. And you have really, really sharp people asking us questions along the way and coming in with information. You know, it's it's a real it, and it's cool because we're we're small enough that we can deal with everybody. You know what I mean? Like we have like thousands of people coming in and like a billion questions. It becomes like impossible. You know, um, we have we have some we have a good like, you know, good, not, tightly knit group of people that know what questions to ask. And then we're, we, we, we totally will help you, whatever it is. And we lead you kind of right up until lock through our through through that YouTube uh, live chat. Now, in addition to that, as that's going on, yes, the Discord channel is still is still operating. Mm-hmm. But mostly from six to seven, we're not we're barely paying attention to Discord. We're we're, we're in we're in the live chat, kind of doing our thing. Yeah, so having I mean, said that, though, after we do the live thing, and I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm getting there. Right? Okay. So 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 we're getting there now. It's seven o'clock. It's lock. You know, it's that's technically lock. It's locked for the first game. Okay, we call it lock, right? And and at this point, or maybe even 15 minutes before that, the live chat ends. Okay. Because Bobby and I just we have to we have to go. You guys have to go. Everybody's got to finalize their lineups. Okay. So so we we kind of leave the live chat. Okay. And then though, still things happen during the course of the night. And this is where this Discord channel is really important because Bobby is really, really good about continuing to check back with discord especially when there's new big news that comes out you know or if anybody has this question oh uh, miles turner's out who's better uh, jalen smith or whatever it is and bob is usually pretty good about being around for that and the community is usually around for that too so when it comes to nba more than almost any other sport you know the discord channel after lock is only about 20 percent for sweating and rooting and, and complaining and 80% for like actual information. You know what I mean? Like in, in other sports, like baseball, we're just basically saying home run, pitcher, hey, whatever it is. And then we're rooting, you know, basketball, you actually get information, you know, like, like like after lock through the Discord. So this, so this Discord channel is is really, really big. And I, I just encourage you guys when you get on here, we we do a really good job of have, of having people like not waste people's time. You know what I mean? And look, I have nothing against other Discords, I have nothing against other sites. When everybody comes in, they, they post pictures of like people doing this and this, that, and the other thing and cursing and Sven, yeah, it's fun, you know, whatever it is. But listen, we, we, we want to win too, you know, so mm-hmm. you're going to come into the discord. Um, look, just, just be constructive. You know, if, if, listen, if you have a question, there's no dumb question. Don't be afraid to talk or anything like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, don't come in and just, just, just spam the thing and waste people's time, you know, because yeah. we're here, listen, we're, we're here to, we're here to win. And, and it's a really good resource. So I think overall, and then, then you can chime in if you want. It's 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 a it's like everything in life is is really time management. Okay. As Bobby knows, I have like a literally a zillion things going on yep. 24-7. Okay. As is Bobby, right? But everybody's got their own different time managements they have to deal with. And for DFS, you have to develop this kind of repeatable like time process for you that can make it work that you want to play NBA DFS. Like for me, I, I have to put more time into it because I have to do a lot of other stuff, you know. I have to do the projections. I have to do this. And, this is, and, and but there are other people that, like maybe for you or wh- whoever's listening to this, you could be that guy who just shows up at six o'clock, goes mm-hmm. live, pulls up the projections, do some lineups, have some fun, whatever it is, and build good lineups. And some might argue that that's probably the best way to do it, you know, as opposed to poisoning yourself all day long, you know. Um, but you know, I think that you know, it depends how much time you have. Look, if you can make it to the early to the early video, awesome. 
You know what I mean? As, as you sort of said earlier, though, it, it, the videos are, are, are twofold. They are to help you for that day. But we are going through a lot of ways, you know, of we talk a lot about lineup construction and how do you play this guy with this guy and the run backs that make sense for this. There's a lot of things that are that are really valuable about the early stuff. So like you, like Sheets is saying, it really is about how much time you can allocate. But even if you can't allocate the time, we've tried to put enough in place to where we can help you on the fly as well as helping you right before lock and, you know, get ready for the actual slate, which in NBA is a lot, a lot bigger of a deal than it is in other sports. But I definitely think that the most important thing is from the back, back, you know, from back backwards, you know, from the front backwards, you yep. Yep. six o'clock to seven is, is, is kind of mandatory, you know, and, mm -hmm. and when I say mandatory, if, if you don't feel like, like, like uh, being part of the, of, of the live chat, you know, okay. At the very least, like use the projections to build lineups. You know what I mean? Right, like right. You know? And I wouldn't really, if I were going to do that, I wouldn't even look at it until six o'clock. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, um, because if you're going to have put that much effort in and to track the projections across the day, then you probably have enough time to join the, the live chat and figure out what the hell's going on, you know? Um, but I, I think that, and now listen, and we're going to be adding stuff along the way, but again, you want, you don't want to like add too much. So I think that between all the different tools we put up here, I think that that's, there's a process, there's a time uh, allocation for everybody. And and it's up to you how much you want to put in. And I think that from the casual to the semi-advanced casual fan, you know, I think this is, I think we have it, we have it kind of set up nice. Yep. Yeah, I agree. And I think you I did a really good job going through it, you know, in a way that, you know, was was a lot faster than I expected, but it actually does. It's 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 that that is the process. And and for everybody, just so everybody knows, like because people always ask me, what's my process? And part of it, I really like to do a genuine first look with sheets anyway. Like even if we weren't, even before we were we were doing this for videos and everything, we were just sort of we would talk over the slate, you know, it, as a sort of a first look thing. That's sort of how I come up with my overall way I want to attack the slate. And then of course you're going to have things that change as we just. For example, today, and when you watch this video, it won't matter, but the entire Warriors just got ruled out. So that's going to change the slate, obviously. <laughs> um, so that's why but, it's, but, but it's important. That, that but, 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 I, but every time I consider that we shouldn't do the early videos, you know, I, I then remember, you know, listen, you say we just the fact that we talked about the possibility yeah. that Golden State was going to be ruled out. Yeah. And at least put that in our heads as something to 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 think about. If in fact that news should come out and that helps you get a little yeah. tiny little bit of a head start, you know, mm -hmm. in, in your thought process, you know? Um, so I guess that, I guess that'll do it for, for, for NBA. Um, uh, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop recording. And then right, right before you stop, I wanted to throw out one thing, guys, we're going to be doing these for every sport. And if there's anything specifically you'd like to ask or write, have questions, you can go ahead and, and, and write those. Um, under uh, the, uh, you, you can do it under the True DFS support tab. Uh, just say, hey, I had this idea from the video. I had this idea, and it's in our Discord because we we do want to hear from you as well for, as we as we do all the sports and uh, and help you get the information that you guys want the most. All right. Good luck, everybody. One sec.